What's going on, y'all? You know who it is. Mr. Warmack, a.k.a. Low Rent, a.k.a. The Ignorant American, a.k.a. The Truth As You Know It, a.k.a. Dirty Business, a.k.a. The Jet Jaguar of YouTube. Alright, folks. You know who I am. You definitely know what I do, so uh, we're talking about some interesting topic today. We're talking about, you know, everybody's favorite pontiff. He made a trip to Israel. And I, this is just breaking news to me, so... Let me roll in on two, three, one. This guy. We're going to talk about the pontiff there. He uh, made a trip to Israel. And like I said, this was breaking news when I'm, do I'm doing this video now because i just seen it because it kind of got to me. If you follow if you don't, if you follow your religion, I'll give you credit. But when, when this dude does stuff like this, I just, I don't know. Okay. Now, Pope Francis refers to... You know, when he went to the trip to the Holy Land, like Israel's a holy land to all Christians, whether it be Catholic, Baptist, Protestant, and all that. Well, Protestants, Baptists, uh, Catholic, or Protestant. And uh, he went, to, but he went to visit the, the Palestinian Authority controlled areas, and he called it the State of Palestine. Now, here's one of my problems with that quote alone. State of Palestine means you're dividing up Israel. And in your Bible, Israel is supposed to form as one, and you know how the Bible goes. I shouldn't have to repeat it to you if that's your, if that's your book of choice. But uh, all he did was rile up the Palestinian people and on a holy pilgrimage, you know, he backed their statehood aspirations. Now, the Palestinian Authority, you think they're going to stop with their demands now? No, because even the Pope has kind of co-signed them, even if he didn't come out and say, well, yeah, he did come out and say his state of, state of Palestine. So, you know, and, and it's, it's, it's he, he's, he's saying it's, there's, it's unacceptable the way that how they're uh, in a stalemate as far as their peace efforts, but... What gets me is, you know, like I said, the Bible does not state any of this happened. How are you going to divide up Israel and you're the leader for the Catholic speaking set? I mean, to me, it's just, it's just crazy, you know. He told, he told the Palestinian people, quote, I am with you. You know, he went to a... Uh, a refugee camp in Bethlehem and he said this to him you know and and and, uh, and the refugees have told him he was harmed they've been harmed by the policies of the Israeli people and the Israeli government you know it's 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 crazy man I mean it's been nine months of negotiations like I explained to a couple videos before I don't know if I put them up already but how they've been negotiating and they've uh, Israel's been releasing prisoners it's supposed to be prisoners my fault it's supposed to be like in three waves and the last wave has was stopped I think I uploaded that video you might want to go check it out but uh, there hasn't been any progress made in the recent negotiations because Israel like I uh, explained it just to touch up upon it Israel wants uh, the Palestinian Authority to uh, take away the applications they have made to certain agencies and organizations that recognize their statehood and the Palestinians won't do it until Israel gives a signed agreement saying that they're going to get a Palestinian statehood with the recognized 67 borders so uh, 64, 67 borders, one of the two and uh, he wants, the Pope wants both sides to make sacrifices, like I said this is Israel we're talking about you Christians need to be like, what's this dude talking about? I mean, it's just it's just crazy. He said uh, both sides need sacrifices with internationally recognized borders. I don't know if Israel's willing to do that. You know, here is both sides of refraining your actions that were were de to derail peace. You know, I mean, it's just I, I'm in I'm in shock right now. Like I said, this is just new. I'm just doing this as this is like recent now events so you know in another move he uh issued a surprise joint invitation for Abedus and uh Shimon Perez to visit the Vatican for prayer next month it's just I don't know it's, it's just crazy 
but but the one the one man who I admire in Israel who ain't putting up with that guff is Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu. You know, he expressed anger with the politicians that reached out to Abbas at a time when the Palestinian leader is reconciled with the Islamic group Hamas. Now you gotta see Hamas is in control of the Gaza Strip, I think. And uh, the Palestinian organization has control of the West Bank. So if you're going to unite the, the Palestinian state, you're going to have to unite those two. And technically, he's going to have to talk to Hamas if he's trying to unite the Palestinian people. But Netanyahu considers Hamas a terrorist group. So you can see where Netanyahu's coming from. And Netanyahu, let me tell you people, this, that's the guy in the picture on the right of the Pope. Netanyahu does not play around. If it was up to him, Israel wouldn't be here right I mean, not Israel. Iran would not be here right now. Syria would be would be carpet bomb. Syria would be a, a would be a, a, a parking lot. It was up to this guy. This I have to admire this guy. This guy takes no guff. He, he his situation. If you don't like me, I don't like you. You know. So the Pope. You know, it's just it's crazy. I just I, I, I'm like I said. I'm just reading this right now. You know. He he wants a solution, but. He also says the Palestinians have a right, quote unquote, to live with the dignity and freedom of movement in their own homeland. Well, it's just, it's crazy. All I'm saying is, you Christians have to speak up and talk about this. This is not right, according to your own book. If 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 Israel is supposed to be united, that means no no giving, no no. How about your Jesus, your God? How do they feel? Then again, this is the same Pope that like. Is co-signing homosexuality, co-signing a lot of other social mores that his book forbids. But then he goes, he's not Jesus, this, that, and the fifth. So, I think it's up to you Christians to really want to stand up for Israel. And you need to stand up now. I'm not saying what Israel's doing is right or wrong. I'm just saying you just need to follow your book and follow your policies. It's just, it's crazy. Now, I appreciate you listening. Now, I gotta go. Peace.